What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick recap of everything that was announced by Apple. There's some new products, new software, and even new categories. There's a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and begin. Alright, so first let's talk about iOS 8. Apple has just seeded the Golden Master copy to developers today ahead of their September 17th release. So iOS 8 will be released to the public on September 17th. Apple also today introduced two different versions of the iPhone, a 4.7 inch iPhone 6 and a 5.5 inch iPhone 6 Plus. Now both devices will be available for pre-order on September 12th. You can go ahead and pre-order, have all the countries in the video description down below. Now the iPhone 6 will be available for $199 for the basic 16 gigabyte models and also the iPhone 6 Plus will be available for $299 16 gigabyte model. Of course that's with a two year agreement with your carrier. Also both iPhone models will be available on September 19th. Now Apple today introduced a new service called Apple Pay. This service is Apple's first attempt to replacing your wallet. Basically it works through NFC. You can go ahead and make purchases by linking your credit card to Apple's passbook application. You can make payments at selected retailers and also add your credit cards to this payment system as you go. Apple Pay is now working with Visa, MasterCard, and American Express to provide services to make mobile payments. Now also the mobile payment validation works through the Touch ID sensor on your mobile device so the information is secure and it's never sent to Apple servers. Apple also today had a great one more thing surprise for everyone just like Steve Jobs used to do it back in the day their most anticipated wearable the Apple Watch. Now the Apple Watch serves different purposes it tracks your health with built-in sensors to monitor your workouts and also provide all types of health information but another cool feature about the Apple Watch is that you can reply and send messages through the Apple Watch and also call your favorite contacts and also keep up to date with the latest that's happening on your social networks with the Apple Watch and also reply. Now the Apple Watch also requires an iPhone, a compatible iPhone for it to run properly. Also the Apple Watch will come with interchangeable bands that you can go ahead and purchase and swap out to make it custom to your liking. Now also will integrate Apple Pay using NFC technology to make mobile payments just like you would with the iPhone 6 that's compatible. It will be in stores for $349 sometime in January 2015, three editions, Apple Watch, Apple Watch Sports, and Apple Watch Apple Edition. So there you guys have it. This was a quick recap of everything that was announced at Apple's media event today. Of course, I'm going to be getting all these products to review here on this channel for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'll be getting the new iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and also the Apple Watch to review for you guys. All those videos coming your way. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And if you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.